Hello, it's Simon Zucci here, and in this property education video, I'm gonna talk about the fact that it looks like UK property prices are falling. We're gonna talk about interest rates, and also we're gonna talk about inflation. So you might have seen the latest news from the Nationwide, who are actually the third largest mortgage lender in the UK. And they say that according to their figures have been seasonally adjusted, um, the growth rate in the UK has fallen from February to March by 0.2%. Now, first of all, it's been seasonally adjusted. Also, this is very much an average. You've got to be very careful when looking at averages. There are some areas such as London where prices have gone up slightly, 1.6% apparently. Some areas where they've come down. I think it's more important to look at the area in which you are investing and get a feel for what's happening in that market. You can speak to local estate agents, find out what's the level of inquiries, are, pro are properties going for the asking price or above or below, and this is what you should be looking at. It's a local market in your area that's more important than what's happening on a national average. Now. A lot of people think, well, hang on, prices were starting to go up. They're coming down now. And typically this time of year, spring, is when prices have a little bit of a boom. So if they haven't boomed, does that mean we're going to see prices come down further? Well, remember the Halifax, who are the largest lender in the UK, they seem to think earlier this year they were predicting that property prices on average average again would come down, but I really don't think we're going to see a property crash. Now, no one knows what's going to happen for sure, right? However, you need to remember the fundamental statistics in the UK, the underlying trends, which are we do not have enough accommodation. The statistics say we need 300,000 new homes every year, we're building less than 200,000. Labour said if they get into power, and there might be a general election later in the year, they said they commit to build 1.5 million homes over the next five years. That's 300,000 a year. So they agree with the Conservatives on one thing, that's we need all this accommodation. How are they gonna build it? I don't know. But the point is that we live on this island with a limited amount of accommodation and an increasing population. We do not have enough accommodation here. So over the long term, property prices and rents also go up. So I don't think it really matters if there's a short term fluctuation in prices. Because if you're holding for the long term, which is what I recommend you do if you've read my book, Property Magic, you'll know golden rule number four from Property Magic is we hold property long term. Look, I've been investing in property for almost three decades. And I can tell you, I've sold property over the years that I look back and I regret selling that because of the long term capital growth. And a lot of people, when they're focusing on their property investing, they focus just short term, looking at cash flow. And I understand that, and cash flow is really important. It's golden rule number three we only buy something that makes us positive cash flow. However, you've got to look at the long term view. And I think too many investors are thinking short term, they're not looking at the, the long term trend of what happens to property prices. That's how you create true generational wealth by holding, retaining and renting out property. So I don't think it matters. And the point is, there are many, many investors who are standing by the side, waiting to see what happens, not jumping into the market, which means right now, there is a credible opportunity for you in the UK property market to get in because it is still a buyer's market. That means there are more sellers than there are buyers because so many buyers are waiting. And even those buyers who want to buy, people who want to buy homes, they want to buy investment properties, they are struggling to do that because of the relatively high interest rates. Now, the Bank of England has left their, left their base rate at 5.25%. Um, some people think it might come down in June. Some people think it might come down in August. The policymakers have suggested that there will be some cuts in the base rate, but it all depends on inflation. Inflation recently, I think it was announced as 3.2%, uh, 3.4%, sorry. Um, I think the target for the Bank of England is 2%. So until it comes down further, and it is on its way down inflation, the official figures show that. I'm not so sure if I believe that, I'm looking at things, how much they cost in the shops, etc. but apparently it's on its way down. And so as they get closer to the target, I'm sure we will see interest rates dropping. Now, that seems to be factored into mortgages. You know, if you look at um, how much you can get a mortgage for now compared to a few months ago, rates of actually getting mortgages have definitely come down. But I think a lot of people are still waiting to see if they can get a better rate when the Bank of England base rate also comes down. But what you need to remember is if you find something that gives you great cash flow right now and you're holding long term, does it really matter? 
and I suggest that you want to get busy now. Always do your due diligence, always do your research, but if you find a great property, you should buy it rather than wait. Because if you wait until everybody comes back into the market and everyone knows the market's going up, that's sellers and agents and buyers, they all know the market's going up, it's gonna be far harder to negotiate really good property deals. In any market, whether it's growing or declining, there are always gonna be motivated sellers. And if you wanna do really well with your property investing, you've gotta really understand that concept that we're looking for people who've got some sort of problem, not to take advantage of those people, far from it, to actually find an ethical win-win solution where we can solve their problem. And sometimes that's a little bit of creative thinking. It's not just a normal purchase transaction. Something might be something slightly different there that we do, and we need to learn how to do those things, but we use sometimes some creative strategies to find a great solution for the seller. It works for us as well, so we end up with this win-win deal. You see, if you push a seller too much and you try and take advantage and they might agree verbally to something, by the time it comes to the deal to actually happen when you spent money on surveys and legal fees and things, they might change their mind. So you're not gonna win anyway. Whereas if you actually find a genuine win-win solution that works for the seller, it gives you what you need as well, it's far more likely that deal is not going to fall over, you can secure a great deal, they got what they want and everybody's happy. So I really do endorse this idea of ethical win-win investing. You're trying to find a good solution for you and a good solution for them. Of course we want to make money, we're not a charity, we of course want to make profit, but it doesn't have to be the expense of other people. And I think if you're, when you're speaking to sellers, if they genuinely know that you are looking to help them and you, you, you wanna find this win-win solution, I think they can, they can pick up on that energy. And we're actually creating, uh, I'm taking some of the training we do on my three-day mastermind accelerator and also my year-long program, and I'm putting it into a new product, which is what to say to sellers. So how does to speak to sellers and what to say? It's gonna be a thousand pound product. However, I'm giving you a bit of a heads up here. If you go to your local PIN meeting in April, and by the way, you should be going to local PIN meetings, you can find out where your local meeting is at www.pinmeeting.co.uk. Go to your local PIN meeting, you'll connect to local people, you'll get inspired by what they're doing, you'll build your local contacts. Once you've been to that meeting, if you then book your meeting for May within seven days of going to the April meeting, so you've got to go to April, you then got to book the May meeting within seven days, we're actually gonna be giving everyone who does that, that brand new training product on exactly what to say to sellers. So you need to find motivated sellers, but they need to know what to say to them to get them to open up and share with you the information that they uh, you need to be able to work out what's the best ethical win-win solution in this case. So if you want to boost your property investing success, get around like-minded people, get yourself to local pin meeting. And if you've never been before, you can actually use the word YouTube as a voucher code to come to your very first pin meeting. There are pin meetings all over the UK. They're in the evenings during the week. There are two in the Netherlands. There's one in Dubai as well. So no matter where you're based, hopefully there's gonna be a pin meeting close to you. And if you've not been before, come and check it out. See what you've been missing out on. If you've been to pin meetings before, you know what it's like. Come to your local pin meeting. Get the latest on what's happening in your area at grassroots from other investors and the people who are there. We have a letting agent, normally a mortgage broker. They can tell what's happening on the ground. That's more important than these average figures that we hear in the press about a 0.2% fall in property prices. I really wouldn't worry about that. I'd see it as an opportunity. Because guess what? When the average investor who doesn't really know what they're doing is just sitting, waiting to follow the herd and do what everyone else does, that's when there are huge opportunities. And I think right now, because the interest rates are high, because we've got this news about property prices falling in the UK, this is the golden opportunity for you to get out there and secure some amazing deals. Particularly from sellers who need to get rid of their property, let's find an ethical win-win solution. So I hope this video has been useful. If it has, please hit the like button, kind of comment Tell me what do you think is happening in the property market? Are you bothered whether it goes up or down short term? Probably not, but let me know what you say, what you think below. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified anytime we bring out a brand new video. So until next time, as ever, I encourage you to invest with knowledge, invest with skill, enjoy the next video.
Hello, it's Simon Zucci here. I do hope you just enjoyed that YouTube video. And you know what? If you really want to move forward in your property investing, it's much easier to do it with the help of other people. And one of the best things you can do is go to your local property investor network meeting where you can meet other like-minded people. You can learn some of the very best strategies and really get a, a motivational positive boost every single month about what you could achieve from your property investing. Now, there are 50 plus meetings around the UK. We've got meetings in the Netherlands, we've got them in the UAE as well, and growing around Europe. So all you have to do is click on the link below this video, go to pinmeeting.co.uk, all the meetings are listed there, click on the one that's closest to you, see when the date and time is, and if you want to attend that meeting, you're gonna just buy a ticket, or if you want to come as my guest to your very first PIN meeting, just use the voucher code, which is the word YouTube, because obviously you've watched the YouTube video, so just go to pinmeeting.co.uk, pick your location, scroll down where it says payment options, click on pay with a voucher code, fill in the details, use the word YouTube and it will bypass the payment page and you can come to your very first PIN meeting for free. If you haven't been yet, I highly recommend you come along and see exactly what you've been missing out on. You're gonna wish you would have gone years ago. It's gonna help you move forward massively with your property investing. So if you enjoy these videos, I highly recommend you go and check out the PIN meeting. Click on the link below in the description. Invest with knowledge, invest with skill and enjoy the next video.